Hello everyone, welcome back to Love Sam. Barrow's here. So in the first part, we have been reading this diary and stuff has been happening around us. Um, I think we are in the perspective of Brian, but I am not sure. Cause like, why would we be reading Sam's diary? I don't know, it's something like curse. Maybe Brian is evil cause he was, they were talking about a lake. I don't know, we'll see how this plays out. I am curious how this goes. Mark our favorite spots. Well, he likes the pancake place, and Sam likes the library, right? Is that the library? What is that? I don't actually know. That's a fire department. Oh, library. Okay, did I do it? Oh! There's the heart here too. I forgot, yeah. Boo. Wait, so what's the other thing gonna be? Uh, I might need to read this note. September 16th. I need to read this note again. Okay. Joe's Diner. There was an arcade. He hates the arcade. Oh, he liked the donut shop too. Okay, so a donut shop, maybe? Boop. No? I thought that's right. Does he not like that? Wait, let me reread this then. Must go to place, unlike the music shop. I found my own Point of Interest bookstore. He did like the pancakes. How did I not do this right? I, isn't that... What is that? Oh, that's the... Hideout? So maybe not the bookstore, maybe... Alright! Did we do it? Okay, good. I miss Morning Dew Donut Shop. V never shut up about its donuts. They did taste sweet, just like V's heart. Each bite was another memory to savor. They did taste sweet like his heart? Did you eat his heart? But just like a donut, it had an expiration date. It turned cold and bitter. I miss its warmth. I miss its sweetness. I need it. I need to eat it up. Okay, this is getting weird. Okay, we're gonna go eat some food. Why was it? Oh. I miss its warmth. Okay. Beautiful. I just uh, cooked to bees hard, apparently. Oh, maybe I am Sam and. This is for this, right? For Chung. Oh. And a Sharpie. Just what I always wanted. September 25th. The Golems just obliterated the Hammerheads today. Okay, sports team. I was like, what? I now know why they say Brian and Kyle are more than buds. I would have called them an awesome duo too if only Kyle wasn't... Okay, rude person. I mean, the guy has his name tattooed on his arm. That is weird. Call me old fashioned, but I think he should go to a hospital and get that ego checked out because it must be swollen huge. At least he leaves me alone other than giving me that creepy stare when I pass by. I understand how Stacy can keep hanging out with him, but Brian? They do say we sometimes become friends with those who are at the opposite end, so maybe it's not such a weird thing? For me, the real win was the photos I took of Brian. Watch out for Sam Holt, the rising teenage stalker. Bringing the Polaroid camera I brought years ago during my camera geek face seems like a good idea now. <sighs> I know, I promised myself to stay away from people, stay away from the drama, but when I look at Brian, when he talks to me, it feels like maybe, just maybe, it's okay to have a little drama for myself. I'm not ready to define what this feeling is, but for now, I'm going to label it as looking for a shoulder to cry on and just shove it under my bed, just like the pictures I took today. Okay, we're going to look under the bed. I hated every moment I was not with B. I was helpless. Every day I wanted to call him just so we could chat, but I was afraid of what Brian would think of, what, 
of it. It could even hurt his reputation. When I finally worked up the nerve to call, all I could do was listen to him say, hello. That was as far as our late night phone call chit chat could go. Oh, so the, yeah, they weren't actually like dating. He was probably just like trying to be a nice person. I hung up, wondering if he knew who was on the other end of the line. I remember the strong, burning sensation that came every time I called him. That red, fiery sensation. Red. Like this marker. That I, for some reason, can't pick up. Wait, what? I want to use it on the book. It wouldn't let me pick it up when I was sitting down. Alrighty. What about this? Why can I not pick this up? Okay, any moment now. Can pick up this marker. Maybe I wasn't supposed to unlock here. Maybe I have to unlock the drawer again or something. Well, oh, the lights work again. I thought the lights were broken. Okay, good. Good that the lights are on. Um, am I supposed to be like looking for something? red. Yes, I see the marker. It won't let me pick it up. Is there... Maybe there's something else I'm missing. I don't know what, though. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think there's anything else. I think it has to do with the marker. You're supposed to finish that. Maybe I broke it because I got that early. Open up. Yeah, all this is the same. Oh, what is that? That's just a crumbled up piece of paper. No. No. I want to write in the book. Let me write in the book! That red, fiery sensation. What does... Okay. Oh, we can continue now. Sorry. For some reason, I thought we couldn't continue. So red. Red everywhere. Sam and Brian. Okay. We still can't grab the marker. What? Sit back down, maybe? Oh, finish what you started. Oh, okay, I see. Alrighty. Boop. Um. It's a heart. Oh, he died. You all right there, buddy? Oh. All right, we're going to the bathroom now. What could possibly go wrong? Hey, buddy, you all right in here? Whoopsies, sorry. Oh, the window. Hi. I'm just gonna. Okay, we're not gonna close that. Oh my, that scared me. Whoops, sorry. Oh. Drawing on the wall. What? Drawing on the wall. Oh, there we go. not come in. Oh, I'm outside. Oh? No. Oh, wow, I actually get to move now? Oh, no. I mean, I could move before, too, but, like, am I actually gonna have to run away from something? It's 
kind of dark. I can't see that much. Oh. I think, oh, we're going to the lake, right? Or his, like, hideout or whatever by the lake. I'm like, I wonder what the story was. Who was the bad person here? Sam, meet me at Colton Hill. You know where to find me, Brian. Oh, it was all just a nightmare. So did Ryan kill Sam with the stick? Or did Sam kill Ryan with the stick? September 28th. Due date for Miss Lazy's book report is right around the corner, and I'm still not finished. Only if I wasn't too disturbed. Normally, I wouldn't bother reading a teen romance story, but for some reason I thought, hey, why not? The premise for Mangled itself is pretty generic. Jenny has a huge crush on her childhood friend Michael, but she can't get Michael to think of her as more than just friends. Huh, it sounds kind of, um, what's happening right now? She reaches a conclusion that it's because of all those girls around him, so she starts making a list of all the basic girls who also have a crush on Michael. What she's planning to do with the list is yet to, re to be revealed. If I can finish reading the book by tomorrow, I'll be able to finish the report with enough time for a revise. P.S. I wonder how Brian is doing with his assignments. Why am I interested? Because he's been asking for my help with some of his works, and I gladly agree to. Why would I do that? Because by helping Brian focus on his practices so he can bring trophies to our beloved school, it becomes safe to say I'm taking part in a bigger cause. Not like I'm doing this for personal reasons, right? I wanted so bad to be close to Brian. So close I can peep into his beautiful head. Oh, well that's the bathroom mirror. So close I can just lean into him and tell him my deepest desires. Okay, we can't add that apparently. You. That's me, alright. Uh, what am I doing about this? So close that I can whisper. Don't leave me. Don't go away. Don't smile for others. Don't look away. Don't look away. Blah, blah, blah. That's a lot of don't look aways. Ah! Don't look away. Don't look away. Nope, 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 nope. Stop pulling my head. This is this is a test. Oh, it's so strong! No, 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 no! Oh my gosh, that was so hard. It went off my mouse. I had to go off my mouse pad. Okay, let's try that again. Okay, hold on. I might need to scoot my keyboard a little bit over. <laughs> okay. I didn't- I was staring at it the whole time! Game! Okay. Let's try this again. Maybe you have to stare directly, like, straight at it, maybe? Oh, I get it! Your cursor has to stay in the head? Okay, good. That was hard. Boop, boop. Oh, the lights aren't working! Uh... <laughs> I'm getting so many goosebumps playing this game. October 6th. Stacy invited everyone to the, la to the late post-victory party at her place this Friday. Weird that she told me this at the hallway herself. The sudden act of courtesy was enough to leave me frozen, but to think of it, a self-conscious beauty queen like Stacy would love showing off how tolerant she could be. I'd prefer celebrating quietly in my room, but since the party is practically being held for Brian, I thought it would be sort of rude of me to not be there. He was nothing but nice to me since I met him, so the least I could do is show up. Plus, I could probably witness the face Stacy makes when she sees I actually had the nerve to show up. Maybe, just maybe, I could... Make her angry if I manage to strike a conversation with Brian. And Omega hanging out with an alpha? Kyle would be busy comforting Stacy, fuming about how I mess up her ecosystem. No peer pressure, Sam. Just clean drinks and hopefully some casual talk with Brian. What could possibly go wrong? Apparently everything. Like staring into closed eyes, I could never know if Bede knew I was looking at him. Did he even know I was there? Maybe he knew but simply didn't care. The only thing looking back is my decaying sanity. I wanted to look away so much, but what's the point when the stench is still there? 
I started to think the only way to get V's attention was to throw myself off Colton- Oh my. Off Colton Hill. How did I come so low? All I wanted was a chance to show how I feel about B getting- About B without any noise getting in the way. No matter what happens next, it would at least give me some sort of closure and peace. Brian was super likable. Everyone liked everything about him. They couldn't stop smiling when Brian started talking. They made me want to puke. They smile as if their relationships with Brian mean anything. And yet, I was the only one left with a broken heart when he left Rosen Peak. B was so determined about leaving that being a star player wasn't enough for him. B needed to be a model student. Nothing says pick me to college admission like a spotless student record. He can't just shake up- I can't just shake up my whole world and leave. Is that the front door or the bathroom? What is that? Oh, it is front door, I think. Oh, I... Okay, what about that? That's really loud. Those are like syringes or something. Okay, I get it, I get it. What? Okay, the girl of 17 who was found dead at Colton Hill likely ended her own life, police says. Sam Holt, a transfer student of Wayred Academy, had been reported missing, oh, for six days until Rosen Peak authorities discovered her body in the forest. 
Due to days of heavy rain around the time of her death, the investigation on Miss Holt's death faced a few challenges. However, interviews with school faculty members and its students led to the possibility that she threw herself off the cliff of Colton Hill after months of rejection from her peers. She was rarely seen with others, says one of her former teachers. She was even publicly humiliated just before her disappearance and must have worked as a tipping point for her. Rosen Peak Police says the fall did not kill Sam instantly. Ooh, that's horrible. It is possible she gasped for air through her broken neck before dying. Wayride Academy now faces suspicion of neglecting its students led by the mother of Miss Holt. Oh, that's horrible. Can we set this down? That's horrible. October 7th. Oh man, everything has gone wrong. All my senses are screaming in pain. I don't even remember drinking any booze. The pain only escalated the moment Brian texted me. You feeling okay? No, I was not okay. And why is Brian asking me this? Did I do something to him? According to Brian, I went from being quiet to crazy happy and cute. His words, not mine. Real quick. I was so close to being the center of the party that he had to bring me back to the dorm. Why can't I remember any of them? Congrats, Sam. You've reached a new low in life. Is this it? Is this how I die? I sincerely asked Brian if there was a good place to kill myself. He said, maybe now is a good time to show you my secret hideout. Since I passed the test by showing the whole school a different me. Is he seriously going to take me to his Colton Hill hideout? Tomorrow, I'm going to the so-called most romantic place in Rosen Peak with Brian. There's something in my head that's keeping me awake, and it's not hangover. Honestly, if someone told you that they wanted to commit suicide, basically, you should probably take that seriously. Hello? I am at front door. Hello? Who's there? Anyone? Oh. Okay. Oh, wow. Sorry, that was really loud. Well. That was a cool transition. I thought something was going to pop up at the uh, people, but... Oh, hey! Are you Brian or are you Sam? That looks like a girl to me. Sam, is that you? Aw, she's... Go oh, she fell. Sam? What is that? Oh, it's the blanket that's on the bed, right? Um, why are my clothes everywhere now? Oh, because I'm hallucinating. And yeah, the clothes were in the drawer before. Okay, bye. October 8th. OMG, Brian actually took me to Colton Hill. The hideout Brian mentioned had a wonderful view of the small town. The whole place under the golden sunset. The best part of this spot was that it was quite hidden and unsafe. You could easily roll down the hill if you are careless as, or drunk, and no one could find you for days. How awesome is that? Being drunk with that wonderful moment didn't cause any accident, though. We sat there for less than an hour, but it felt like an eternity. I can't even remember what we talked about. I do remember saying how beautiful Rose and Peak is, and Brian being all may about it. I guess you can get fed up with views like this, too. Today's only regret is that I failed to bring the true essence of the hill's view back with me. There's a reason why I gave up photography as a hobby in the first place. At least the close-up shot of Brian was not half as bad. When I came back down from the hill, it became clear that my life just became a bit more messed up now. I know, because I really want to talk to Brian again soon. Help me get to sleep quickly today, diary. Love, Sam. Oh, that's a face. Brian's secret hideout. A closed Colton Hill hiking route discovered by himself so he can hide from the world around him. Not a flashy place, but it has a great view. I wish it could be our special place. Ours and ours only. Colton Hill is nothing but a rock pile of blood-soaked memories now. Why did he have to break my heart? Was I just one of his many friends? Maybe that's it. That's why he wanted to leave, even after I told him we won't be together anymore. He thought he was too good for Rosen Peak and me. To him, I was just a background in his picture. Oh. Oh. No? What? 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 Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to do that. Hit the wrong button. Get up. Hello? Is that from the bathroom? Wait. Oh! You don't deserve a face? Oh! <gasps> 
I get it, because there's no reflection. Oh, that's bloody. October 10th. Oh, no. The book report was finished days ago, but I can't stop... Why am I so low to the... Oh, no. What is that? All right, that's a lot of flashing lights. What? I didn't read what that said. Can I read my note? Thank you. Can't stop thinking about Mingled, mostly because my stupid brain thinks I'm sort of like the main character, Jenny. That's what I said. To summarize the rest of the book, Jenny goes on with this jealousy-fueled sabotage rampage on every girl who has a crush on Michael. I know it sounds horrible without context, but it's actually kind of cute. She finally stands on top, but Michael finds out what she's done. He breaks Jenny's heart, saying he can't be sure of who she is anymore. Things work out in the end, but that's not why I sympathize with the dorky psycho girl. Brian is just like Michael. Popular, has killer biceps, busy hanging out with people. I can't see what he wants because of all the noise around him. I know he wants to go to college, but what about beyond the boring stuff? What kind of person does he like? What does he think about? Me? He told me about his mom, how she died of cancer last year. It must have been so hard trying to look okay in front of everyone who's depending on him. I sometimes feel like he can't see me because he's so busy trying to meet everyone's expectation. I know how those around us can be hurtful, and it's dangerous to rely on something much. I just wish I could tell Brian one day that I'm something... Oh! Yeah, put that down for a second. Uh, oh, it's so dark. I want to... Oh, okay, we can still read it. To rely on them so much, I just wish Brian could tell me one day that... I wish I could tell him. I'm here for him. Okay. Add that to my list. Pick this back up. Oh, we're going to play this type of game. Okay, I do not like- Oh, maybe we could just sit back down, actually. I didn't really think about that. Oh, we can. <laughs> Brian got what he wanted in the end. He left Rosen Peak as soon as he was giving the chance- Wait, did we read this? Yes, okay. As for me, I was left to suffocate in the hole of tainted memories until I drowned in my own endless nightmare. Don't leave me! Ooh. Every day, every night, I'm surrounded by whispers. Whispers that lie. Whispers that eat away my brain, piece by piece, no matter how hard I try to. I hear them again. Are you in a healthy relationship? One must take as much as one gives. Obsession is a stronger form of love. I'm just saying yes to all this. No one can have what you can't. Oh, B never loved you. <laughs> no, no. Oh, all your problems are caused by you. It's all your fault. Oh! Results are in. It looks like you still have your eyes closed shut. Then keep them shut. How long will you last this time? Hello? Alright, you're not really saying anything. I can't understand you, so call me back later, okay? It's getting worse. The town left a disgusting crack on my heart. October 13th. Miss Lazy gave us an easy poetry assignment for once. She said it's okay to make a parody of the classics as long as we stick to the ABCB rhyme. So I took the liberty of letting my imagination go ABC berserk. Here's a slight taste of my early work. Roses are red, violets are blue. My life would have sucked if it wasn't for you. Call me Sam Spear. Wait, is it Hold Spear? I could have waited for Brian to ask for my help with homework again, but I decided to make the first move this time. And guess what? He said he can handle it alone. Call me paranoid, but I'm worried I might have hurt Brian's pride. That's what happens when Sam opens her mouth and uses her brain. P.S. I've decided to carry my diary in my bag. The doors in the girls' dorm are way too easy to open. Not as easy as Stacy, though, if you know what I mean. <laughs> I even saw one of the girls using a notepad to crack her door open. Besides, I have this weird hunch someone's been reading my diary... I've decided to not ignore this hunch. Oh. 
and it's getting bigger and bigger. The voices I hear from the crack are getting louder. I see more and more eyes staring at me through the gap. When I ran out of places to run, I had only one solution. Now my memories are scattered, scattered all over the dark, and I must look for them in the dark. Okay. Okay. I do not like this. I... Oh. Something? I can't even read that. <laughs> oh my! They keep me so warm. That scared me. I do not like this. I indulge your gaze. Okay. I cherish your smile. Okay. I am stalking him though, aren't I? Probably the closet. No? Oh. <laughs> what was that? I couldn't even tell what that was. Like, endless sun rays? Alright, they keep me so warm. I cherish your smile. No, I indulge your gaze. I cherish your smile. They keep me so warm, like endless rays. That's not right. That's not right. I don't... Okay, it's definitely not this. Oh, this could be there. Wait, because bees have to rhyme, right? I forget how poetry works, being completely honest. This is definitely the end, though. Okay, wait. Did we already try... There we go. Alright, October 20th. With Brian preparing for a rematch with the Hammerheads, I once again gladly give him gave him a hand with the non-important homework stuff. I must say, the teachers here don't give their poor students a break just because the test is over. It's not like I bur I'm burdened with helping out, but Brian is really trying hard to get good grades. From what I heard, he doesn't have much to worry about going to college since he's practically a local football star. Maybe his pushy police chief dad raised him to be an overachiever. It's funny how a model athlete like Brian got friends like Kyle, who always finds excuses to pull him out of school. It's unfair, really. As long as you are a sports star, you'll end up with people like him, no matter how nice a person you are. I don't speak with Kyle much, but I don't need conversation to know what he's like. First of all, his girlfriend is Stacy Lannings. The stare he gives me when I pass by is enough to creep me out for the whole day. It would be lucky if Stacy didn't come along and start yapping about how Brian is out of my league. She has Kyle to play with, so why would she even care? Like, ask your boyfriend out for a drive. Jeez, have a nice life with him so Brian can stay out of the poison he does not deserve. Oh, not again. Oh my, I cannot see. Oh, that's me! Oh, hello! Alrighty. Hello! You gonna say something this time? Are you just breathing? Alright, alright. Alright, and with that, that's gonna... Really? Okay. Third time? Oh. Oh. Alright, 
well, with that, that's going to be it for this episode. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed the spooks. And I will see you in the next one. Goodbye, everyone.